Hello everyone and welcome to this second lesson about the permission system in Django REST framework. Continuing the discussion we have started in the previous lesson, we are now going to see how to secure our review instances so that they can be updated or deleted only by the same users who have created them. And in order to do so, we will first need to modify our review model, binding it to Django's user model using a foreign key field. So, time to code. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm currently in the site administration interface, and that's because considering that we want to actually update the review model in order to get detailed information about the user that has created every single instance instead of simply having a string field. Because of that, it is better if we now just delete this instance, like so, in order to prevent any possible error with the new migrations that we're going to use. And here in the models.py file of the books app, the first thing that we need to do is to actually import the user model. We are going to see how to extend the user model later on during the course, but right now Django's user model is perfect for the task at hand. So from Django.contrib.auth.models, import user, and now I can just go ahead and update the review author field, which is now going to be foreign key linked to the user model with on delete models dot cascade. So I'm now going to stop the development server. I'm going to open up a new terminal. So Python manage.py make migrations. And as you see, there is a message that pops up. You are trying to change the nullable field review author on review to non-nullable without a default and so on. But considering that we've just deleted all the review instances we had, I can just select one and here I'm going to type none. So migrations for ebooks, alter field review author on review. And now Python manage.py migrate. Perfect. I'm now going to close this terminal. And we can also modify the serializer, ebooks, API, serializers, and we can modify it this way. So review author equals serializers dot string related field with read only equals true. And we're passing read only equals true because we want to automatically bind the request user to the review author field. And we're going to do that from within the appropriate view. So here I'm just going to define review author equals self dot request dot user. And then right here below, maybe I can add two white spaces like so. Here I can just add review author equals review author. So basically the same thing that we did for the book instance, but this time applied to the review author. We also need to set the permission classes attribute in our review create API view class. Consider that this time we really need to have our user authenticated. So I'm just going to set permissions dot is authenticated or read only. So let's now check the code right away. I'm going to run the development server like so. Okay. And let's go back to Chrome. And here we can go to API slash ebooks. And let's try to review computer networks. So to review we get method not allowed as always but you see we now only have two fields review and rating and considering that in fact i've chosen some really great books we can only give the maximum rating available and here i'm going to write something like a holy book post perfect you see the review gets created and now in review author we got admin which is the user that i'm currently logged in with so let's check the list endpoint, and here it is. Perfect. 
there is one more thing that we need to set up regarding the reviews and you see if I try to review computer networks once again maybe using raw data like so then I'm going to delete all these fields I can now press post and you see a second review associated with admin has been created and that's clearly not good because we only want one review for each book from each user so let's see how we can tweak the code in the perform create method to perfectly match our needs we need to perform a validation check from within the perform create method which by the way is often a perfect place to perform such validation checks and so I'm going to get a query set review query set equals review dot objects dot filter and we can now check if a review author has already reviewed this specific ebook instance so ebook equals ebook this instance with review author equals review author we can use the exists method to check if the query set is legit so if review query set dot exists and in that case we can raise a validation error so first of all we need to import it and actually I can move this up here and here from rest framework dot exceptions import validation error that I can now use so here raise validation error and here we can pass a message like you have already reviewed this ebook so I'm now going to save and restart the development server once again perfect like so let's go back to Chrome and let's try to review 0 to 1 so like so review and so at the moment we can because we have not yet reviewed the book so I'm going to give five stars post and remember that the text field was optional but let's try to review the book one more time so I'm going to write something like so post and you see we get an error 400 bad request you have already reviewed this ebook perfect there is one last thing that we really need to add in order to make our review system secure and that's a permission class to only allow review owners to edit specific review instances and so in order to do that we can go back to the permissions module and here we can define class is review author or read only which this time is going to extend permissions dot base permission and so here we can overwrite the s object permission method we can delete this line and here first of all to make it a bit more explicit than the one here above or maybe a bit more readable we can do something like if request dot method in permissions dot save methods then we're going to return true otherwise we're going to return object this specific instance dot review author equals request dot user so let's save and we can now import this new class so here is review author or read only and we can actually use it here in our review detail api view class so permission classes equals is review author or read only so now let's restart our development server perfect so let's go back to Chrome and let's go to API slash reviews slash one 
and you see we currently logged in as admin therefore we can update a review perfect however let's now log out as admin and let's log back in as standard and you see now we cannot update the review clearly we are not the user who has created it let's go back to visual studio code let's try to comment this out like so let's restart the development server so without any protection of course we could if we wanted to but once again with the permission class up and running everything is much safer perfect Okay, so that was it for these lectures about the permission system in Django REST framework. I really hope you enjoyed them. See you in the next lecture, where we're going to learn how to employ a pagination system for our list endpoints.